Hello, doing a quick recording here on how to replace the CMOS battery on a T3500 or 5500 workstation. They're all they're all pretty much the same, but yeah, I've got it propped out here, but the battery, yeah, I'm using a little screwdriver. You want to be very, very careful when taking the CMOS battery out of any machine, especially this one, because you have a you have a chip right here, and yeah, you can knock a whole bunch of stuff off, off the board if you're putting pressure. Um, this is something that will take a lot of time, I find, to uh, to get out, especially on these models. But yeah, right now I've got it propped up. So The biggest thing is observing that this is the lip, the lip part of the battery. Like the battery slips under here, it, there's like a lip, so it's not coming out on this side. So what you're going to have to do is push the battery towards that lip. And then if you have a tiny screwdriver, that's handy, I guess. But you, you just want to be really careful um, because... Yeah, so if I push it back in, you see there are these two little clips here that go over the edge of the battery. If I push it, push it against it back, it gives me a little bit more room. But yeah, see, I, I have to push it. Yeah, it's it's very, very, I don't want to say tedious, but yeah, you kind of have to play with the plastic bit. You see I'm bending it, but I'm being very careful not to put a lot of pressure to to break the sh like the plastic shroud so what you should end up having here is once you got it pushed back enough you should be able to pop it out yep there we go I got it and there you go the CMOS battery is out and yep I just reset the CMOS because this battery isn't dead but if it was I'll pull it out and I'll show you that's what the casing looks like if you're wondering on the T3500 and the battery it says a model on it all you need to know is that it's a 2032 3 volt battery. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to put it back in. To put it back in, it's super easy. You just slide it under the lip, the initial lip. You can see that there, under the initial lip, and you just push it down. Putting it in is super easy. Taking it out is what takes a little bit of finesse and, and time. But yeah, I hope that helps kind of. And yeah, the way you get to it, of course, in the workstation is you have to take the memory shroud off here. Well, I recommend doing that it gives you more space for your hands you take that off and as well of course you will have a hard drive bay in front and you'll have to pull that back it is pretty firm so if you've never opened the workstation before you have to pull this back take the memory uh, the memory shroud out then you'll be you'll have easier access here to get to the CMOS battery which will be just found right here but yeah I hope that was helpful um, yeah it, it does take a lot of um, patience and yeah, you don't want to force anything. You don't want to force anything at all. It'll just take a lot of patience, I think. And it's like, look, you only have to replace the battery once in like a long, long time. And yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know.